This is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza for uh, JMM Garza Photography of Fort Worth, Texas. Today I'm going to be going over some neural filters. It's a new package of uh, filters by Adobe Software for, for their Photoshop program. And I'm going to be going over some of my uh, uh, photographs and trying to convert some uh, black and white photographs to colorized images. And working on some uh, portraits and trying to see if I can do some skin smoothing. Of course it works better on some, uh, some photographs better than others. Uh, this is a software you know, bundle that's incorporated into Photoshop that's uh, in its incipient form and in its uh, rudimentary form and its uh, first form essentially. It's uh, very modest at best AI, artificial intelligence. It, uh, it misses more than it hits. It can do quite a bit for uh, simple basic uh, beauty shots, but for colorization I pretty much uh, think it's uh, just, just a little bit fun project to do. It's a fun thing to do, but it's not necessarily very uh, uh, elaborate, sophisticated is the term. Maybe in 20 years it'll be more sophisticated as AI uh, evolves in the computer realm. So let's get started here on this photograph that I have on my computer. It's a model. I photographed in Fort Worth, Texas. So first here, I'm going to be going to, I'm going to be going to uh, neural filters. It immediately opens up a window to the right uh, where I can uh, go to skin smoothing. I click on skin smoothing, and this lady is going to be even smoother than she was before. So it's a very nice filter for that uh, client. Or a person that you want to make super smooth. She's already uh, has uh, very good makeup. I did, you know, she had very good hair and uh, her outfit was selected and it's a nice setting that I photographed her in. So it doesn't do a lot of dramatic uh, improvements on this photograph. For an older person, let's say somebody in their late 20s, early 30s, maybe even the early 50s, this might be useful. Let's try another photograph. Let me cancel out of this and go to another photograph. This gentleman here I shot in Austin, Texas in Austin, Texas for South by Southwest. I was involved with uh, about a thousand other photographers shooting photographs uh, during the event and there was a competition and I was lucky enough to get second place. Uh, I don't know why I got, didn't get first place but I should have gotten first place. I just was having fun. I just went down there to check it out. So we go again to filters, neural filters and we're going to do some skin smoothing. For a heterosexual male, a male that's not too uh, Hollywood, uh, you know, this might be considered uh, a bit, bit much to uh, do this skin smoothing. My uncles, who do a lot of hunting, they might get irritated. They go, hey, that's not for me. So let's do some skin smoothing. Immediately, it's going to smooth out the forehead, a little bit of the wrinkles. It basically does this little area right here, ignores the nose and the eyes, and the teeth. So it's smoothed out quite a bit. So again, smooth, 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 smooth. And it looks pretty nice if uh, you, you want to look this way. Again, it's like putting makeup on. Yeah, and a lot of men are averse to looking like they have makeup on. Okay? Other men, and especially women, are very, they love to have makeup on. And a lot of men like to put makeup on too. So my, this might be good for certain individuals. So let's cancel out of that. Let me uh, click off that so you can see how it originally looked. Again, it took off this mole and uh, reduced the wrinklage. Let's go to another photo. This is my uncle Casimiro Mena. Uh, let me first uh, let me uh, adjust. It's a little bit dark. Let me add a layer, a uh, new adjustment layer and uh, do some levels. Just a little modest level upgrade because it does not, it needs a little brightening. Just a tiny bit of brightening. Just a smidgen and uh, that should be fine and let's do another layer uh, I'm, I'm in adjustment layer here we go of um, curves just to do do my classic s curve a little s curve here we go that works out a little contrast and that works out very nicely so now let's go to that uh filter let's do that filter why not let's do that a neural filter oops let me see here i gotta go down here 
I forgot to do that. You've got to pick on the background, not the layers. Okay. Oh, there I go. So filter, neural filters, and it's opening up that window, that exciting window here. And uh, we're going to do that skin smoothing again. There we go. Let's check that out. Still going slowly but surely. Let me do that again because I, it sort of clicks off this. <laughs> it takes that out. I get a little bit nervous. So I got one to do this and ignore that. That it, Hey, what happened to my, my other uh, features of the software? So, but it does leave you this so you can zoom in. So my uncle, who's an avid hunter who passed away about 25 years ago, 20 years ago, actually, uh, he might not appreciate looking like this. He rather looked like his tough, grizzly self. Uh, my little South, my South Texas uh, uncle here, Casimiro. But um, that's how it looks. Let's go back to normal. And again, it do wrinkle them. And you know, this might work for some individuals. Now we're going to open up another, let me open up another image. I don't like, I'm not going to open up this image. Let's open up uh, La Raza Park. Okay, open oh, up La Raza Park. Let's zoom in a bit. And this one we're going to try to colorize. And this is, uh, let's get, and get this filter, New World Filters. And it's going to put a window on the right side. This is fun. It's fun to do. Uh, again, here's all the other filters. Smart Portraits, Makeup Transfer, Depth Aware, Colorize, Super Zoom, JPEG Artifacts, uh, Photo Restoration. This is a slow program, this JPEG Artifacts, Photo Restoration. And these right here haven't been... Uh, you know, you know, you know, are not available yet. What I would like to do is photo to sketch. That'd be a lot of fun to do, don't you think? To photo to sketch, that'd be good for graphics and for uh, for my YouTube channel to do certain titles of uh, and product uh, photographs and stuff like that. That'd be a lot of fun. So let's try colorize and click that on and see what comes out. So right now you have it in black and white. I originally shot this with my Hasselblad. You can tell by the little notches here. It was shot with my Hustle blood. So it's I don't see any major changes. What's going on here? Let me cancel that. Let me see what's going on here. Let me see what mode I'm in. Layer. Image mode. It's in grayscale. Minor details. I was in grayscale. I have to put it in RGB color. You're learning along with me. Okay, now we have an RGB color. Let's do that filter, Con uh, neural filters. We're gonna try it again, boys and girls. Are you having fun? I'm having fun. Let's click down here. Again, these are not available yet. We'll try colorize, here we go. It's not that dramatic, the colorization. All it's gonna do is make the background green, the leaves green, this a little bit blue, and this center of her brow, blouse, not this, not her arms or her blouse, just the center of her blouse is going to be this rosy sort of pinkish color. And right here in this, it's going to be pinkish. Now I'm going to show you something really bad. This is going to come out horrible. Focus color. Let's do maximum focus color. So you got all these blotches now. You got this cyan blotch, this reddish blotch, 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 blotch. And the green went away and that's not good. So there we are back to normal. So what do you think of these filters? Uh, this has been Asus Manuel Benagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, I'm just sharing some of my, uh, you know, my experience with these filters. I'm going to take off the, uh, the colorizing and uh, zoom back out. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're having a great time. Uh, don't forget, I exhibited this photograph in Mexico City, also in France. One gallery down there, the... Uh, What's it called? The Musée d'Aquitaine blew it up five by five feet. They really liked it, and it was part of an exhibition there. And I, of course, exhibited it for the uh, Smithsonian and galleries west and east coast, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Texas. Who knows? It's all been all over the place. This was shot in back in, I think, about 1972. It's an old black and white photograph shot with a Hasselblad. Comes out okay. Still good after being scanned. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you.
very much. And if you have any questions about me attempting to do some of these uh, uh, new filters by uh, Adobe Photoshop, feel free to contact me. I'm not a Photoshop expert. I'm not. Seriously, I'm not an expert. I'm just a photographer who likes to do uh, some editing of his old black and white images and do some titles for his YouTube channels and stuff like that. I do some color here and there. In the past, I used to do a lot of portraiture and that portrait filter for some of these people that I used to photograph back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s and up to about uh, 2010, you know, it would have been very, very useful, at least a little bit. Of course, there's more sophisticated software out on the market currently. This is Basically, uh, you know, you know, skin smoothing light. Okay. Again, don't forget. Let me see if I can speak in English. Don't forget to leave your kind and super friendly comments below the description. Hey, I got that out. From Fort Worth, Texas. Thanks for watching. Gracias. Adios. Bye bye.